Okay, so this is the third and last video for modelling this uh, camera. And I said that what we're going to do is add on, add in some special details to make it look um, a little bit more realistic. If you look around you at any sort of electrical object or um, device, you'll notice that it doesn't just have flat edges to it. And if I show you this picture here, when we look at this camera, again, this also has got little indents and surfaces and rounded edges to it. And that will give our um, final product a degree of realism um, that at this stage it doesn't yet have. So we're going to start off by looking at this face here. I'm going to select it and right click and create sketch. I'm also going to look, move a lot faster in this video. So if you need to pause to catch up with me, then just keep doing that. I'm going to start off with bringing up the sketch box and looking for the offset tool. I'm going to select this rectangle here and I'm going to offset it by a distance of minus one millimeter. Once I've done that, I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to subtract material again by a distance of minus one millimeter. And press enter. This is my first little uh, surface that I've created in here. And on it, I'm going to create a new sketch again. And I'm going to this time create a corner to corner rectangle, two point rectangle. And I'm going to select or sort of hover over this edge and make sure it locks to here and go to the other side about here. The dimension this rectangle that I've just done, I'm going to make it 20 millimeters. And I'm also going to just make sure that it's positioned if I click those two lines 25 millimeters from the edge this is going to form the flash um, but before I extrude it I'm going to create an offset again select this little rectangle and it's going to be minus one this is just a little tiny edge that I'm bringing in here I'm now going to press Q and if I zoom in, I'm going to select here so I get this sort of like picture frame shape and I'm going to pull it out by a distance of two millimeters. Press OK. Now here I'm going to create a chamfer on it. So this is the flash taking shape. The chamfer, if you remember, is in modify and chamfer. And rather than it saying two distances, I'm going to select equal distance. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, this one, and this one. So I've got four edges selected, the whole lot. There it says four. And the distance is just going to be one millimetre. And you can see this creates a pretty cool little um, angle for the flash. While I'm here, I'm going to select the top of this button, right click it and create sketch. And I'm going to put another circle on here, press the circle tool, snap to the middle, and this circle is going to be 12 diameter. I'm going to press Q and select what I'm going to extrude. I'm going to cut it in just a distance of one and select OK. So really quickly, I've added in some nice realistic looking um, features going on here. Finally, um, I'm going to select this front surface here. And again, I'm going to press, if that ever happens to you, by the way, just press escape. Select the front surface, right click it and create sketch. Um, I'm going to do a circle, snap to the middle. This circle is going to be 34 diameter. And one more circle on the same sketch is going to be 37 diameter. Press Q. I'm going to select space in between the two circles I've just drawn and I'm going to cut into the surface but I'm only going to cut in a tiny little bit, minus 0.5, just a touch and this, I know when I'm, I render this up, I'm going to apply materials to it and I'm going to be able to put a nice little extra different colour material in there, in that little indent, which will look quite cool when I make my render. When I'm talking about rendering it, that's the process in making it look photorealistic.
Now, to finish this off, um, I'm going to round lots of edges off because, again, if you look at any object around you, very few objects have got sharp edges to them. Most have got a slight rounded edge. Some edges are rounded more than others, like this one we've done already. But let's start selecting some surfaces here. So I'm going to press F for fillet. When I said surfaces, I should have said edges. So I'm going to select some edges. I'm going to click this one here. This is the top edge. And this fillet I'm going to put on it is going to be one millimeter. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to do another fillet. I'm going to select this edge here. And I'm going to go for one millimeter again. Press OK. Um, I'm going to go underneath the camera now. I'm going to do another fillet. This one here, I'm actually going to put a bit of a bigger fillet on it. I'm going to select two millimeters. This will create a nice shadow when I'm doing my render. So that's us for modeling the camera. If you have time and you want to, you can always do things onto the back of the camera. You can put a viewfinder or a screen. You could put extra buttons onto the back of it if you wish. Completely up to you um, if you wish to personalize it. But for the moment, we're going to leave it as it is. And the next video I'm going to show you is all about putting materials on to make it look realistic.